Hi everyone, it's Sarah here doing my 36 week pregnancy vlog. How exciting. I only have 27 days until his due date. So I am 36 weeks and one one day pregnant. So I only have 27 days left, um, which is so exciting. I cannot believe it. I know I say it every single video, but it is just so close now. Um, I am feeling like he's going to be coming soon because I feel a lot of pressure down there. Like, um, I'll feel him move like he's doing right now and it will feel like, this may sound gross, but it will feel like he's just going to like fall out and I need to go to the toilet constantly. I'll go to the toilet and then I'll like walk away and then I'll be like, oh, okay, I need to go again, so I'll go back to the toilet and wee again, so um, he's putting a lot of pressure on my bladder at the moment, and I am pretty sure he's dropped, I'm feeling a lot lower than I was before, I'm going to the midwife, I'm going to a midwife's appointment tomorrow, so I'll find out whether he's dropped or not, fingers crossed he has, because I just want to beat my baby boy, um, what? has been going on the last week. Still no sleep, but I think the no sleep is a combination of not being able to get completely comfortable, but also being so excited to meet him that I can't sleep. I just like lay there all night thinking about my baby boy and how much I can't wait to meet him. Um, I'm in the process of packing our bags for the hospital. Um, I've still got to get a couple of things for my bag, but I've got his bag all sorted, which is very exciting. Um, I'll show you guys some of the stuff that I have um, a bit later on in the video. Um, um, last week I got a message from another YouTuber. It's a woman who is TTC, and she just asked me... Um, if I could explain what it felt like being pregnant in my next video. So I've thought about it all week, I've thought about it long and hard, what it actually feels like to be pregnant. And the best way that I can sum it up pretty much is, remember when you were a little kid and it was Christmas Eve and you were just so excited to get up the next morning and open your presents and you just couldn't wait, you, you couldn't get to sleep either because you were just laying there waiting for Santa to come. Uh, well, being pregnant feels like that, that is that kind of excitement, but times it about a million and that is what it feels like. It is just so exciting. It's such a blessing. Um, so baby dust to you. Um, what else has been happening? Um, still have lots of energy, even though I don't get much sleep, just because um, it is so close now. Um, wow, I cannot believe I am at 36 weeks already. It is just gone so fast. And next week I'll be full term, or in a few days I'll be full term, so I could have my little booger, <laughs> which is very exciting. Um, I'll show you guys. I've got packed for baby boy in his hospital bag. Um, this is baby boy's nappy bag. It's a capucci. And it's really, really cute and fits lots of stuff in it. It has lots of little compartments and stuff. Um, it's really, really good. Okay, what have I got? Okay, in the back here, I just have like tons of little nappies. Look how cute these little nappies are. They're just so gorgeous. Um, I have baby soap, little packet of baby wipes which will last probably three or four hours. <laughs> um, baby powder, more nappies, more, more nappies, lots of nappies, oh, little baby boy. Um, have a couple of pairs of mittens. Um, some singlets, a couple of little singlets, oh they're so cute, um, a couple of beanies, little sockies, which are just so adorable, lots of little socks, this is just 
too cute. It is just absolutely adorable. It's so tiny though, so if he even fits into it, I think he'll only be in it for one day because it's just so tiny. It's four O's, but it's just so small. Um, oh, his little pajamas. His little <laughs> pajama pants. They're so cute with the little top that matches with the little sheep and stars. Um, I have a suit that matches the pajamas, a little onesie. Ooh. Um, just a couple of onesies just chucked in there. Um, some burp rags to clean up his throw up. Um, and a couple of muslin wraps. Just um, they're double-layered muslin wraps, so they're a bit thicker than the normal muslin wraps because it, it's probably it's going to be the end of March. Well, his due date is the end of March, 30th of March, and so that's um, end of summer, beginning of autumn. So I don't really know what the weather's going to be like. I have no idea. So I'm just guessing there's going to be a couple of warm days, but it'll pretty much just start cooling down. So double A Muslim wraps. Um, what else? I think that's, that's it. I have his have a little swaddle wrap for him, and that's all cushioned for his little head. Um, and I have a blanket that my nan knitted me that I'm going to take into the hospital. It's really, really soft and nice. It's beautiful. Um, here I have my pregnancy and baby book, which my sister brought for me when I was 12 weeks along. Um, it's been a godsend. It is such a good book. I recommend other pregnant women out there to go out and find a book that tells you like all little things and it's got places where you can like write stuff down. And it's just been really excellent foods that you should eat and exercises and yoga positions and it's just really, really good. Um, I'm taking this to the hospital because I actually have my birth plan in here. There, just, I know a birth plan is probably absolutely ridiculous it is not going to go the way that you plan it, but um, it's just a couple of things in there, like um, what I would rather, like would I rather an episiotomy or would I rather tear, and just stuff like that, stuff like um, I would like to have immediate skin to skin contact with my baby boy, I want to hold him immediately if possible, and I also want to try and breastfeed him as soon as possible. So just little things like that in there. Ooh, it's um, it's actually quite hot here today in Sydney. Um, here's my bag. I just have like some maternity pads, um, a toothbrush, a little washy thingy, <laughs> um, a little um body shop set. Just has like soap and lotion and shower gel in it. Um, a travel pack of shampoo and conditioner, breast pads, breast pads, lots and lots of breast pads, um, a little like eye mask to try and get to sleep because they've always got really bright lights in the hospital which sucks. Um, I have lots and lots of underwear, um, little sockies, little sockets. Um, I'm actually not going to be taking pyjama sets like tops and bottoms. I've just packed like three maternity nighties just because I find nighties really, really comfortable. Um, they've got little buttons so you just pop your boobs out and you're ready for a feed. Um, I have two dressing gowns, just like soft dressing gowns, more socks, um, toothpaste, um, I'm going to pack like my cosmetics and stuff um, a bit later on and just have them ready at hand. Um, 